you ever find yourself scrolling through social media all day? Somehow, you feel like you can't stop. Yeah, me too. And have you ever wondered why is that? So, there is a chemical called dopamine. It is in our brain. Dopamine is a chemical that makes us desire things. That desire motivates us to take action. Our brain expects that action will lead to reward. Rewards make our brain happy. For example, it's weekend and you want to chill, so you desire some alcohol. Dopamine is released in your brain. You drink it and you think that it will make you feel good. But actually, it might make you feel worse. In some people, that action might not release a lot of dopamine. But if a certain activity releases a lot of dopamine, you'll be motivated to do it over and over again. Now we can kind of understand why people do drugs or drink alcohol. It's destroying their bodies, but they gain dopamine release. Their brain does not care if high dopamine level is harmful. It simply wants more of it because it feels good. Dopamine releasing addictions include behavioral addictions like gambling, binge eating, and substance addiction like use of drugs or alcohol. Previous studies estimate that about 40 to 60 percent of addiction risk is due to genetic factors. I'm interested to see which genes influence addictions. This research is going to be done by in silico method. That means I will use the internet to search for data. I will seek the evidence that will tell me more about genetic link to addiction. Alcohol abuse, which is by the way a legal substance, is a major cause of disability and mortality all across the world. Heavy drinking is frequent among individuals of all ethnicities, and it's part of lifestyles of both young and old people. As we can see, addiction can be a huge problem. So, let's sum everything up. Dopamine is released when your brain is expecting a reward. It is also released when you scroll through social media, because your brain is expecting rewards like fun, validation, or social interaction. This study is going to compare various data sets to see which genes have an influence on different addictions. By better understanding the link between genetics and addictions, we can help those who are struggling with it and treat them with greater comprehension.